morning and welcome back to Wedding Rags to Island Riches here in The Sims 4 Island Living where, oh hey, do we have a new person who wants to come and join the shipwrecked? Just here for the halibut. Oh my gosh, is that a fishing, is that a new fishing club? because I would totally be into a new fishing club named just for the halibut. That's amazing. Let's see, Ukupana, uh, let's see. We're gonna name him Panipo. Uh, so, Uku Panipo, Uku Panipo, Uku Panipo. I could probably get that if I practiced enough. He looks kind of like my brother, I'm not gonna lie. But let's go ahead and greet him because he just like showed up at our little get together. But hello, so yes, welcome back guys. We are actually over here at the Admiral's shipwrecked area that has become suddenly immensely popular now that we have actually started a new club called Shipwrecked. It's adorable. So this is an active gathering that we are doing. <gasps> is he just making a cute little, okay, let's see. Let's join in building the sand sculpture with him. Cause he may be a stranger, but that seems really cool. But Shipwrecked is a brand new club that now that Nuli is starting to figure out how to be a part of the islands, we have decided to put together. She was invited into the major courts with Oleana to hang out and to practice some music and kind of enjoy like some nice beach action. So we're actually hanging out here on the Admiral's Shipwreck with our two friends Makoa and Olani because they are going to help us do some woodworking. So they're going to help us to start building our house. <gasps> We're building the cow plant! This is the best thing, dude. Oh, and he just walked away before we could even... Let's go ahead and greet him. Panipo. Come on, dude, like this is really cool. You built an awesome, you built a really awesome thing. Uh, I don't want to complain about the weather. Maybe discuss local fishing spots because of the club that he's in. Hey, and Mile is here and she's actually seems like she's feeling pretty good. Where did she get that drink? Is there, is there, uh, is there, is there pirate rum hiding somewhere? There is pirate rum hiding in here. <laughs> Mele found some pirate rum that was hiding inside of the shipwreck. That cracks me up. Oh my gosh. Of course she would. There's just something about her. Wow, look at all the people here. And they're here because Makoa and Olani, uh, Olana were coming to help us with building our house by building up the woodworking skill. So I feel like this is a good sign. Let's be thankful. I feel like this is a really good sign. And let's actually join in building the sand sculpture. That maybe we're starting to be accepted. Yeah, look at her face. I think we're starting to be accepted by the people of the island. And I wonder if that's actually because the island spirits came. They visited with us and they actually gave us a little blessing of island abundance. So I wonder if she just somehow is more connected to everyone on the island as a result. This is so cool. But yes, so I, I've been reading and rereading and re 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 reading the rules for rags to riches, and you can actually have clubs. So I, the shipwrecked is going to be Nuli's club, and she's gonna use it to kind of to kind of have her friends start coming together as she makes friends and just celebrating life as she sees it and right now makoa and o oliana are going to help us build the house by building up the woodworking skill and just kind of we also have dig for treasure being friendly with everyone telling jokes to everyone and fishing with people uh, as a way to kind of jokingly be on a little pirate beach. Like, they're kind of making a big, big, fun, playful deal out of, you know, being around pirates. Uh, being around the old pirate ship, I should say. But all right, let's go downstairs and let's actually get some of the woodworking that Olana, Oliana is doing done too. Let's do a horse statue. Because I do want to go ahead and start upgrading our handiness skill. We have to get to level five of handiness. Oh, look at the blessing from the island spirits. I swear this must be because the, we met with the island spirits hiding inside of here. And they were totally happy with this. Oh my gosh, that's a, 
That's a lifeguard. That's a lifeguard trying to show off to Oleana. Maybe he's trying to convince her to like join. Oh, hey, he is part of the same music club as her. Sion. So he's actually the lifeguard and maybe he's trying to convince Oleana to join the lifeguards. And there's also a new guy over here too. Oh my gosh, everyone's found the pirate rum. Clearly it's made out of apple juice, <laughs> but it's so funny. And at least our skill is going up. This is so cool. This is how I think it's supposed to be. Now that she's starting to be accepted by the people on the island, just having a bunch of, of the locals come together and really just kind of like make her part of the community. Look at that! Okupanipo. Okupanipo wants to just like hang out with us. Maybe we're talking about like how to how to fix canoes. I wonder if we can learn a little bit more about him. Like just for the hell of it. Let's look at what that club is. Because that sounds hilarious. Just for the hell of, hell of it. Don't play coy. You could, you could never find a better crew. So drag your bass over here, grab yourself a perch, and get to fishing. That's amazing. We might have to go fishing with them at like one of the beaches at some point in the future. That's just fantastic. All right, everybody's chit-chatting. Yes, Henning is level two. We can now perform basic upgrades on plumbing objects and craft furniture at the woodworking table. We can also talk about handiness with other sims and purchase upgrade parts at the computer. So maybe we can do some upgrades at the observatory and like of just like the toilet, not the like freaking, um, not the actual like telescope. And that could be why they would let us actually go there. Uh, let's see. Ask if mermaid, because why not? She might be feeling in a playful mood. And then discuss local fishing spots. Maybe he'll tell us some more information. And is there discuss fitness techniques? Oh, he's gone. I think he had too much, too much to drink uh, from from the apple juice supply. Oh, we can make garden pots and garden planters now. <gasps> that would be wonderful. Oh, and little bar stools. Oh, that would be really cute. Let's make a little, let's make a little garden planner first. Cause I think those sell for quite a bit. And if we can get a whole bunch of money, we'll just save up the money we earn while we're like hanging out with our friends, doing repairs on the pirate ship, building up our handiness skill. I really was scared about building up our handiness skill cause I thought it was gonna take forever. But I think with these friends, it'll actually go by really easily. And it's nice to have them over. And we'll, we'll celebrate by making some food in just a bit too. And everybody else like seems to be finally welcoming us into the community, like showing up and hanging out with us when we hang out. Oh my gosh, this man looks like he is a master fisher. Did you see? Look how he tosses that line. That is just like a ballet. I feel like I need to get my little old man Tate Green from my Green family legacy out here to be able to learn a thing or two from his island faring friend. Oh, that's so cool. All right, well, let's wrap up this garden pot. I don't want to like exhaust our friends, but this is perfect. This is the way we'll do it. We'll do a little bit of work here. Yes. Okay, household inventory. Can I access household inventory from here? I cannot, ugh. So we'll have to go back to our little island to do that. But I kind of want to sleep on our own island later tonight anyway. Uh, all right, let's actually work on becoming friends and getting maybe some aspiration things up and going. How close is our handiness? And our handiness actually went up quite significantly, if you ask me. Here, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll work on a little horse sculpture while Makoa is also doing some work. But our happiness went up a lot faster than I expected it to. And we actually have like some new friends, which is so exciting. And yeah, we're making good money. Can we breed the frog? I just like the idea that we're catching all of these frogs, these super rare frogs. Look at all that money we just made. <gasps> it's the mermaid. Maybe we can finally become friends with Nalai too. I wonder what happens if you actually ask a mermaid if they are a mermaid, but I don't think that would be on uh, Nalai's mind tonight. Hmm. 
Okay, so let's see. And I'm kind of excited to see if anyone asks to join Shipwrecked and become like one of our friends hanging out here. All right, Makoa. We'll get here. We'll we'll stop this. Well, actually, Makoa friendly. Become best friend. Oh my gosh, that would be so cool. Give repair tips. We can give repair tips now. Oh wow, we must have higher handiness than him. Let's go ahead and do that really quickly. Because that sounds really cool. I want to be able to give repair tips. Friendly. Give repair tips. And then I actually get fame from that. That's awesome. Hey, Makoa. So everybody down here must be talking about like how to build the ship together. That's so cool. And then we actually get a little bit of fame from that. Uh, let's see. Maybe become best friends because he's like literally going out of his way to help us every step of the way. And there's the mermaid. Club, club cosplay. Oh, she likes to cosplay as a person on land. That's so adorable. Let's go ahead and maybe greet her. Really friendly. Compliment her outfit. Just happy feelings all around. We need to get to know Makoa. That's one of our goals today. And we want to be mischievous with some of our friends. And let's go have some fun. Like we've been we've been working hard. We've been having a good time. Okay, apparently I can't greet her very easily. Let's see. Brighton day? Is that gonna work? I think it's not gonna work because this guy's trying to come on down. Alright, let's get upstairs and let's actually convince all of our friends to come and hang out at the fire together then. As a way. Ooh, let's actually do the little fire so that we can actually get some food together. Well, oh wait, she doesn't need the food because her hunger is full. <laughs> That's amazing because her hunger is so full from the spirits. They're actually keeping her fed for the next day. <gasps> That's amazing. Thank you, island spirits. All right, and then let's go ahead and come maybe dance together. To relax after they came and they helped her do quite a bit of work around the ship. There we go. Come on, guys. Everybody just relax and hang out together. This is so much fun. And then we can, in, in exchange, try to help Makoa with some of his work as well. Oh, Nalani! Hey! Let's invite her to dance. Come join the dance, Nalani. She seems to always kind of be subtly in the background. This is so fun. And now everybody's just dancing together and talking. That guy's just lighting another fire, because why not? I keep waiting for her to go over. <gasps> wow! What the heck? That's so cool! That's so amazingly cool! Look at her fire dance! That's amazing! Guys! Oh, this is just so awesome. This reminds me when I saw a fire dance while we were in Hawaii. It was it was just like, it wasn't a traditional one. It was just at one of those like tourist luau's. But man, it was just thrilling to see that little glimpse of how cool it was. My uncles used to do that when they were younger. One of my uncles at least. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, she just won, like, all of the admiration I think we possibly even had to offer. Like, look at her! I think that Nalui just became a Nalani fangirl. <laughs> I really think she just became, like, a Nalani fangirl. We have got to talk to her. We have got to brighten her day. Like, abandon all the other ships. We've got to come on over. Maybe even tell it. Oh, I know what we should do. We should tell a group story, an adventure story about gold booty. And let's just gather up everybody who's currently here. And let's go tell it really fast. Stop chatting. Stop chatting and go tell an adventure story, my dear. We'll do that to wrap up the, the Remembrance Day special events with our new friends. And we'll also do it. Oh, there she goes again. 
Tina. Gosh, she is really hard to convince. Shelf, huh? No, she just leaves. She just mysteriously vanishes again. She is really hard to convince to stick around for anything. Ow. All right, are we telling the group story? <laughs> I think we are. We're thinking about it. I think because the other girl left, Ooh, we, no. we can't. But there we go. You know what? We've we've held our friends up long enough. Let's go ahead and give them a couple hugs, even though we're super stinky now. Let's be thankful. This is just amazing. And then let's go ahead and become best friends, because that just sounds fantastic. Is Makoa our best friend? We're good friends with him. But let's become best friends and vow to help him with whatever he needs in the future and look she's i, I worry that actually o oliana might get a little jealous because she is that's actually one of her traits if we call makoa our best friend but we'll just have to see how things play out as time goes on but all right club gathering is over everybody is ready for a bit of rest let's go ahead and wrap up remembrance day this is so cool. We even got to, like, really, we're, we're officially a Nalani fangirl, but it's not like we can do anything about it. Uh, and now that that is done, let me go ahead and fix the Admiral's wreckage. I had to turn it into a beach lot for just a hot minute to do the club gathering here, because you cannot do club gatherings on generic lots, and you can only do off the grid on generic lots or residential. All right, now that that is all done, let's go take a shower. <laughs> So now we're gonna hoof it over to here. Oh, we can play in it with our friends. I forgot about that We're gonna go have a nice shower in the waterfall, which is just so much fun. Bye guys Thanks for coming over We actually got a lot done out of the handiness skill compared to what I thought we would and we even earned a bit of money without cheating with the coconuts <laughs> Which will hopefully help us to build our little house once we have enough skill. And look at that! We really are- our hunger is just completely topped off thanks to the spirits. That is just the nicest thing. And then let's actually attract some frogs. I just feel like these very- you know what? I kind of feel like she's a bit of a night owl who really loves the stars, our little Nilui. So we might actually make her a night owl as time goes on. Let's catch some frogs. Oh, Remembrance Day was super successful, so we're really happy from the excellent holiday. And we caught a heart frog, which is a common frog. So we'll just go ahead and sell that one then. I'm not I'm not too attached to the common frog, but we'll say we caught another whirly flower frog. There we go. Oh, and we did have some food, but it is now completely spoiled and nasty. Fooey. Can we actually just like play in the waterfall for a minute? Or do we need to use the restroom too much for that? Oh, that's so cute. She's playing in the waterfall with the blessing from Island Spirits with little frogs splashing around. Yeah, I think our girl is actually, look at that. I think that she is definitely, uh, definitely a night owl. So we might get her the night owl trait as time goes on. All right, let's send her over to use the bathroom. And then we're actually going to wrap up the day by going to sleep. And these people really need to go home. I love Liliana's outfit here, though. This is so fun. For once, there's actually a ton of people, like, hanging out at the beach. And I really think it's because, like, as time goes on, Nuli's, uh, Nuli's, uh, what? That's my tent! Okay. That's kind of awkward. But that's my, that's my cave. That's my cave. You need to get out of it, sir. Oh, did we pass out? <gasps> uh, well, not even the island spirits can help us with that. <sighs> oh, all right, guys. Well, I actually think this was a super successful day, if you ask me. Even if we have passed out with our rump in the air on the sands. But hey, we're sleeping under the open skies. I haven't seen a drop of rain since we made it to Sulani Islands. And I don't think there's actually a drop coming. Uh, yeah, there's not even a drop coming up in the next few days here in summer. So I think we're totally fine. We still need to use the restroom, dear. Let's see if we can get her over there first. But all right, I'm going to go ahead and get Nalui resting. I'm going to let her kind of catch a few Zs. Come on, you need to get up. 
you need to go use the bathroom. You're gonna feel but you're gonna feel better if you use the bathroom first. All right, I'm gonna get her resting. I'm gonna get her catching a few Z's, and then when she wakes up tomorrow, we might continue with the shipwrecked challenge, the little shipwrecked event we're doing with our club, and build up the handiness skill. Or we might take a moment to actually join our good friend Makala and come up to the observatory and see what we might be able to find up here. <gasps> With the kava that's ready to harvest! Yes! Oh, look! And there's actually fossils and things that we can find up here too, which seems really cool. Oh, look, there's another one. There's some minerals we can find up here. And then we can spend some time at this amazing new observatory, building up some of those logic skills that we're actually going to need if we are going to be able to, uh, to build our house. And something tells me that Nalui might really love the opportunity to study the stars. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I just love watching this story unfold and I'm really touched at how it's becoming a story of friendship and people coming together to welcome somebody in need, which is not something I saw happening when we first started. But I'm really excited to see if Nalui is going to be able to meet the needs of the island. I mean, just look at this. It's clear it is not anywhere near as vibrant as it should be. So the sooner we can get our house built and the sooner we can get into the conservation career, the better. So if you guys could, do please leave a like to celebrate the amazing day that we had with our two friends down in the shipwrecked, like, ruins of a pirate ship. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, guys, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!